This DIY hand crank flashlight that I designed is super cheap, really easy to make, and surprisingly bright. Let me show you how to make one for yourself. You're going to need access to a 3D printer to print the parts, four M3 knurled nuts, two KBP 307 ICs, a DC LED light source, one 28 BYJ48 stepper motor, you don't need the driver though, one 608 skateboard bearing, and one 5 16 or M8 bolt. Obviously, first you're going to want to print the parts, then you're going to want to remove a support that I forgot to record me removing. It's in the butt end of the base where the LED goes. Then clean your soldering iron and use it to press fit the M3 knurled nuts into the holes. I always chamfer the holes where knurled nuts are going to go into so that when you press them in with the soldering iron, they go in straighter. It also helps to make sure there are no blobs of molten plastic sticking up over the edge of the horizon of the body. Anything that peeks up over that top plane is going to make the lid not close all the way, so you want to make sure that it's as flush as possible. You can then take your motor, put it into its profile, and then you can put in the spacer to make sure that your motor doesn't rattle around while you're cranking it. Now, as far as the electronics go, I did want to mention that because I use stepper motors as generators for my windmill projects all the time, I already have dedicated boards of my own design that do exactly what I'm trying to do in a much more convenient package. That being said though, because this is a DIY video, I thought it would be a little bit unfair if I used a board that I myself made because not everybody has access to that. Instead, I'm going to be making a really ugly freeform circuit. I'm not going to be going too in-depth on the electronics for this project because I've already done it in several other videos. If you want more information as to how to use a stepper motor as a generator, I have a video on this channel called Using Stepper Motors as Generators, and I think it's a pretty good explanation, so be sure to check that out if you'd like. If you already have seen that video, you may recall that on these five wire stepper motor harnesses, the red wire is irrelevant and coil pairs are adjacent. So we're going to take our bridge rectifier ICs and plug the middle two pins of each into a coil pair. My LEDs run at a nominal 12 volts DC, so I'm going to be hooking these bridge rectifiers up in series so that they double the voltage. This is a Cobb LED. Cobb stands for chip on board. What that means is that it has multiple LED packages combined on one board, and when you apply a voltage to it, it acts much more like a lighting panel than an LED. These ones specifically are made for the dome lights of cars, and I got them for about 62 cents a piece off of AliExpress. They're insanely bright for their size, which is nice, but everything in electronics is a trade-off, so that comes at the cost of current. To help remedy this, I added a big capacitor right at the positive and negative terminals of the bridge rectifier IC. Then I added about a thousand ohms of resistance between the capacitor and the positive and negative terminals. I soldered a little female header to make it easier to connect to the LED, and I slid the LED's wires through the little hole in the body. I highly recommend building this circuit in a breadboard first so you can test different capacitances and resistances to see what you like. I wasn't really sure what to do with this circuit. I've seen some people do this with a Zener diode, but that seemed kind of wasteful. I think it probably would have been easier if I had a smaller 5 volt LED. This is just a for fun project though, and I'm not selling these to anybody or anything, so I was okay with what I got. I ended up going with a 1000 microfarad 16 volt capacitor and two 430 ohm resistors for a combined 860 ohms just because I had too many of these resistors and I was trying to get rid of some of them. Again, if you have a better idea for this circuit, I would love to hear it in the comments. I jammed all the electronics into the body of the flashlight and then I attached the lid with some 6mm M3 bolts. Last thing to do was screw my 5 16 bolt into the bearing and then attach the handle to the end of it. If you don't want to have to worry about finding a bearing or a bolt, I've also added a non-rotating version of this handle in the Thingiverse, and you can just print that instead if you'd like. It doesn't stay on for very long after you stop cranking, but when it is on, it's surprisingly bright. It will completely illuminate a dark room. It honestly even kind of hurts your eyes a little bit to look directly at. And last thing before this video ends, I always like to do a quick cost breakdown to see how much this costs per item. A lot of these components I already had on hand, so I went ahead and found Amazon or AliExpress listings that you could buy right now at a reasonable price. I also included all shipping and tax fees in the calculations. At my recommended print settings, I used 58 grams of this Overture PLA Pro, and at about 2.3 cents per gram, it came out to $1.33. These Cobb LEDs were about 65 cents a piece. The four M3 bolts that I used were about 8 cents in total. I'm not super sure about this capacitor calculation, it seems high, but I got about 20 cents a piece for these. The stepper motor was the most expensive part at about $1.78 each, but you could also get cheaper prices if you bought more of them at a time. Four M3 knurled nuts comes out to 18 cents total, I don't really believe that, it seems high, but whatever. Two KBP 307 ICs comes out to about 22 cents. A 608 skateboard bearing also about 22 cents. Seems like bolts should be cheaper than this, but I get mine from Home Depot and they're about 35 cents a piece there. And lastly, resistors are dirt cheap, coming out to about half a cent per. I made a little Google Doc with all of the prices and all of the items that you'll need for this project, as well as links on where to purchase them. In total, buying medium quantities of each item, you can make this for about $5. You can find the link to this bill of materials in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, everything you are going to need will be in the description of this video, including the STL files, the schematic for the electronics, uh, and everything else that you'll need. Thank you again for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.